Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Keisha. I go by Keishi Spirit Eye Makeup on Instagram. So be sure to follow me there to see my makeup looks. Um, so I've had many friends and family members and all kinds of people, even people I don't even know, ask me about what is keto and how do you get started on keto. So if you wanna learn more about the keto diet, stay tuned. So what is keto? So if you've ever heard of the Atkins diet, keto is like Atkins, but some say like on steroids. So, so the keto diet is a low carb, high fat, moderate protein diet, which means basically that you um, cut out bread, you cut out sugars, anything that would turn into the energy source called glucose. Now, typically, um, a typical person's body uh, burns glucose to give them energy. However, this type of energy is not as long term as what we would call ketosis or ketones. Um, ketones are, um, it's, it's an energy built on um, from fat being burned in your body. So when we say that we're on a ketosis or that we're in ketosis or that we're on a keto diet, that means that we're getting all of our energy basically from fat. Now, when I say fat, I don't mean like um, like the fat in our body, so to speak, that that's what we're eating or that's, we are eating healthy fats. So coconut oils, avocado oils, olive oil, anything that is a healthy fat, that is high in fat, that is healthy. Um, so yes, butter, um, but unsalted butter. So you do have lots of butters, lots of oils and everything like that. And no, just because you're eating a lot of fats doesn't mean you're going to have high cholesterol. This diet is actually known to lower cholesterol, lower blood sugar, lower um, uh, symptoms in diabetes, um, a lot of different disorders and diseases, keto is known to help with that. Your memory is better. I can definitely attest to my memory being better since being on keto. Now, if you know me, I have a bad short-term memory because, uh, I don't know, once I had a child, it just went away and never came back. Um, so being on keto does help uh, a lot with um, with memory and focus and clarity and everything like that. Um, however, when you're on keto, you want to make sure you are taking supplements and multivitamins because um, just as you would with any other diet, you just want to make sure that you are um, replenishing your body with all of the resources that it needs. Now, how does the keto diet work? Well, um, it's all keto is kind of, I think it's more of an individual diet. It's based on how you want to do it. A lot of people that are on keto to lose weight, um, because keto, you can use keto to lose weight, gain weight, or maintain weight. And a lot of people that are on keto to lose weight um, in implement intermittent fasting, which means you take a few, you take anywhere from a few hours to half a day of fasting, um, but you eat. You still eat like normal when you are eating. Um, and so I'll get into that if you want um, in another video. Just let me know. Comment down below if you want to know more about intermittent fasting. But um, keto is more of, you know, getting your body in a, in a place of being healthy and a place of... Um, understanding what your body actually needs and so many people have told us oh we need carbs we need carbs we don't necessarily need the type of carbs that are given to us like breads cookies cakes um what else um you, things that turn into sugar basically like breads that turn into sugar grains rice there are so many different alternatives out there for you to use you don't necessarily have to eat those things particularly you can still eat cookies on keto you can still eat um, cakes you can still eat there's a lot of things that you can still eat so don't think of keto as restricting your body from carbs so to speak you think of keto as in enhancing your body enhancing your health so that you can live longer healthier life um, but yes, there are different alternatives on keto, so don't don't think of it as a restriction diet. I actually feel so much better now that I'm not eating so much bread. If anyone knows me, I love bread. Like, I love bread. Like, I ate bread with everything, and it showed in the way that my body was responding to it. I was gaining weight rapidly. I couldn't lose weight no matter how much I went to the gym, no matter how much I did try to diet. It didn't matter if I was eating bread or anything like uh, rice, grains, those things. It just turned into sugar for me, and it just it just stuck to my body. I just couldn't lose it. So, um, so 
when you're doing keto, just make sure that you're doing um, you're doing it. Talk to your doctor about it. Talk to um, research. I did a lot of research. I did like two months of research before I actually started doing keto. So don't just do keto because you see that other people are being successful with it. Do it because it's it's a lifestyle that is for you. Now, I don't know if I'm making this a lifestyle yet. I'm more so just seeing how I like it. And I've done, this is day 30 of keto. So I am very excited that I've made it this far. And I think that it could be a lifestyle. I don't miss um, eating bread, uh, so to speak. Um, I don't miss um, I don't miss cakes and cookies because I can make uh, sweets that are are good enough for me. I just love chocolate cake and everything like that. And there are keto cakes and keto cookies and stuff that you can make to kind of like, um, especially for us women, we have cravings for sweets and chocolate, especially when it's that time of the month. Um, so you know if you if you are on keto, just know that you can still have some treats. They're just keto approved. Um, I hope this was enough information for you. If you want more information, like I said, just comment down below. Ask your questions and I'll be sure to answer them for you. But just so you know, if you if you learned anything from this video, just know that keto is a low carb, high fat diet. And when I say fat, I mean healthy fats. Yes, you can have bacon, you can have fish, you can have fried chicken, you can have, um, but it all has to be keto appropriate. So. Um, to learn more about keto though, I do suggest that you uh, do your research because you don't want to start on a keto without doing research because if you're trying to lose weight, you can actually gain weight if you do it wrong. So just make sure that you do your research. Um, I downloaded the keto app because it helps me to monitor my macros, which are the um, measurements of food that you eat and calories and fat and um, protein and, and what have you throughout the day so just make sure that you are doing your research I googled everything I also read on things um, looked up different uh, looked up different vid YouTube videos on people that have done keto and learned how they started with keto and what they do with keto learned recipes um, for keto so that I can enjoy um, what I eat because I like to enjoy what I eat and I'm sure you do as well and you can do that with keto so, um, that about wraps it up, I think. Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh, drink lots and lots of water. You have to drink lots and lots of water, and you have to eat lots of vegetables. And when I say vegetables, I mean like leafy vegetables. So you can't have french fries, you can't have potatoes, um, and ground vegetables. Things that are made in the ground, um, necessarily you cannot uh, have to, make, to lose weight on keto. So just make sure that you are... Um, make sure you do your research. If you don't research this, then you, you will most likely do it wrong and you will most, not, most likely not get the results that you are looking for. So again, research, 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 and just know that you're not restricting yourself from good things. You're, you're enhancing your body for, for good things and you're enhancing your health and your well-being and just a uh, clarity of mind is just, is just something that I always um, look forward to. I'm not sleepy anymore. I, like, I usually like used to lay, lay down to take a nap and I would be asleep for like three to four hours and that's just not healthy. Um, a nap should be about 20 minutes um, and no more than 20 minutes if that. So in keto, like actually if I lay down on keto, if I lay down and take a nap, I can't sleep past 20 minutes. Sometimes it's like five minutes, 20 minutes, and I feel so refreshed afterwards. So if you're a napper, you can still take naps. Just be sure that you are not taking a three to four hour nap like I was. Um, so I think that's about it for this video. Again, I'm, I just cannot stress this enough research 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 you cannot do this type of diet without speaking to a physician or um, doing lots of research um, again if you have any questions please comment down below like this video subscribe if you want to see more and be sure to share it with your friends thank you for watching and have a blessed day so if you want to learn more about being so if you want to so if you want to see more info if so if you want to learn I'm sorry <laughs> someone's texting me uh what am I trying to say oh I just have these moments of pausing